Nothing's entirely wrong Kick the hole in the game Before multiple views By time be gone Gotta be strong When you're popping The paparazzi form Sliders singing In your local precinct Like This is a setup. Who's judging? Let's set up. Let's make a person that don't like us. Who's judging? This is a setup. What, y'all about to rap now? Yeah. 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 You sure? It's a setup. How is this a setup? You don't even know. You said it's a setup. You got to say that it's a setup. I know you ain't scared. You better rap. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP. Shout out to all my network partners up at Fox5NY.com. We will be back. We will be back. Did we go back? Are we back? When are we back? Did we do it yesterday? Are we doing it today? Or are we doing it tomorrow? I don't know, but we will be back very soon. We got a very special guest I told you guys about. You will not want to miss. I got a couple of subjects I want to break down in this blog. I'm going to start with Ace. Ace, 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 I mean, get, get, come in, bring it in, bring it in. Shh, I don't, mm -mm -mm. you did enough talking on camera. I don't want to hear nothing. Come in, come. take a seat, my nigga. We got to speak. Bro, what? <laughs> What is this video that I see of you? 15 minutes of fame. Please get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Get out of here. Say that. No, sit. My foot. Step by the time. Get out of here. Oh my goodness, shout out to 15 Minutes of Fame and everything that they do, shout out to Uncle Ra. You know, he's always in the scene, making moves, doing what he do, and he got a video of you. It was actually a couple, because it was at the face-offs, you know what I'm saying, for uh, Homecoming. Murder Mooks battling New Jersey Twerk. New Jersey Twerk didn't show up to the face-off, whatever the case may be. Artists don't be showing up to face-offs, you know what I'm saying? Geechee Gotti wasn't there for Sirius Jones. A lot of people don't be, they don't really be taking face off serious no more, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists be looking at it as a formality. I don't want to fly all the way to New York just to be here to do that. I be hearing it in the background. The artists don't really be interested in it. But, you know, shout out to everybody that does be there because it's entertaining for fans. Ace Amin is there. <laughs> he's going back and forth with Murder Mook, telling him he's ass, you know what I'm saying? You guys are no good. All this shit, you know the shit that Ace Amin be talking, right? So... I saw that the day before, I really didn't blog on it or say nothing because this just be banter and shit that they be talking about because listen, Ace, I mean, why he's a dope rapper, you know what I'm saying, he gets busy, uh, he hasn't made it all the way there yet, you know what I'm saying, he's still got work to do like a lot of other people, but he's going back and forth with Murder Moot, and as I'm scrolling and I'm reading the comments, niggas is like, yo, this nigga don't even finish his battles, why is he up there debating with Moot, and that's what Rex said, when Rex came in, he was like, yo, why are you going back and forth with this nigga, he don't even finish his battles. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like, disrespect. That's and I was like, oh man. I mean, he do. He got. He has a couple joints that he finished. You know, what I'm saying he been getting better and shit. But a lot. Some of the big events that Ace was on, <laughs> like him versus Swamp, and there's some other joint. I seen the first one with him and True Foe. They about to damn near fight. They pushing each other. So a lot of people are looking at it like it's not the message, it's the messenger. You know what I'm saying? Because Ace Amin has a good talk game. He talks his shit. You know what I'm saying? They go back and forth, but the the like Rex said, the money on the floor make the game go good. You know what I'm saying? They they talk about battling, like yo, we'll battle right now. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad, <laughs> I am glad that Ace didn't rap. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a sense, I'm glad that he didn't rap, and I'm mad that he didn't rap. I'm glad he didn't rap because you standing up there with two of the best mixtape artists in the world, and they would have spit. Rex would have had 50 bars. He would have burned you down right there on the spot because Rex. That's what he do. Mook would've did the same thing too. These niggas walk around like Autobots with bars. Like they don't go to work at a nine to five and Amazon and all this other shit. They are rappers, like rappers rappers. Them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I'm squeezed, it's like a Gucci crown. That nigga Rex would've went crazy. That's why he walked away. That is why Rex walked away. So I'm glad you didn't rap in that regard, but I'm mad you didn't rap because you had a chance, a moment to go viral. Like you would've had a moment. Outside, like outside really means a lot because it's on the spot. And I know Ace is probably gonna say, you know, there wasn't no contracts, there wasn't no bad. Like sometimes the street element means something. And I money on the wood make the game go good. I'm not sitting out here having me rap. Yeah, you know, it's money. Nigga, not even bad. You know, it's not as money. You know what I'm doing? He just said he's bad. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm rapping. Anything. I'm not worried about this. 
What you worry about it for? What you worry about it for? You just want to yell and scream. I can say that because I did it with Charlie Clips. Not a that y'all gotta deal with. Y'all the type to get probation for a traffic ticket and still snitch. That's real. Oh! Oh, Holy shit! Oh, Holy shit! I'm not a battle rapper, but he comes up to me rapping. When I leave the crib, I'm leaving the crib clicked up because you never know when it's gonna go down. You never know. I don't be going outside looking to battle, nigga, but if a nigga come at me rapping and there's a camera out, I'm gonna say something. He <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, <laughs> my nigga Ace was standing there with that phone froze. I said, "Oh my God, say something, rap something, say something." And the reason why they 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 approached it like that because you was talking crazy to them just a few minutes ago. They like, "Nah, fuck that. If you that good, you gonna rap right now. You gonna rap right now." Ace, did. <laughs> Ace kind of folded. You pulled the goods. I got pussy to go get. <laughs> I got pussy to go get. If you read, and the reason why I'm even laughing about this, Ace, if you read the comments, I need, don't, 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 don't even do it. The comments on that video are worse than any other battle that you've had. Win, lose, or draw, they're going crazy because you're outside the element. A lot of them niggas that's from the city, the Timberland wears, the jean wears, the hoodie, the chopped cheese niggas, they, they looking at you like, yo, you not rapping? You just said, I don't walk around with just bars and... What you worry about it for? What you worry about it for? You just want to yell and scream. Alright, same as you, nigga. Fuck is you. Stop. You a fucking clown. Alright, y'all. You want to be? Alright, y'all. We good? Fuck is you talking about? Rex. You was a fuck. When niggas talk all this reckless shit about Rex, everybody talk reckless about Rex. And as soon as we hear in the real time, in the trenches, your man is running through his phone for nothing. Yeah, no, you're in a text message. That ain't no fucking rap, nigga. <laughs> what you call it? Nigga, you better. You better have a clip. You better have a clip. I promise you. You it, it, Like, if you're going to talk the way... Like, if you're not going to talk, right? If you're not going to talk... You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to talk the way you talk, talk heavy like that, then it's good. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about it. But once you get the jabbing and telling niggas they ass and they not good and they ain't been good in a while and they got the worst battle on you, are, these niggas is going to test you. That's what they do. Like Rex Moop, that's what they do. They're from, from way back. Go watch the Smack DVD. You know, you spit that shit on the radio. The chains, the, the chains on the Rex. They, that's what them niggas do, bro. They ran down on you. And then Rex walked away. <laughs> Rex walked away like I ain't even dealing with this shit. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? I heard who you got next, so I'm, I'm good with that. But at the same time, <laughs> you had a prime opportunity. To burn one of these niggas down and you just was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go find that man, B. Go find that man and don't come back till you find that man. I don't want to hear nothing from no battle rappers. I don't want to hear shit. Because when I when I was out there with Clips and Big T and them niggas at Summer Madness, I ain't no battle rapper. Them niggas start rapping what I do. Clip, 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 clip. I might not be the best rapper in the world. You can go watch that video. That video is still available on 15 Minutes of Fame till this motherfucking day. That shit is right there. What I do? Click, 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 bang, bang, bang. Because that's what we do. I'm not a battle rapper, but you run up on me in the street with some cameras out, you're going to find, you gonna find out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about the money. We all make money. I don't care about the money. The video, the, the two joints, because I did it once when I battled, when me and Clips had like a little pseudo battle, and I feel like I got the best of them. Um, the first video did like 100,000. Then they re-uploaded that shit again and did like another 50,000. All them views on the table, man, you could go damn near viral if you would've cooked one of them niggas. But, uh, Ace, I mean, I'm just be honest with you. I respect what you do, I respect your pen, and this is not to diss or slight you, but you had a prime opportunity, you know what I'm saying? You just basically was like, yo, you don't walk around raps and shit like that. But it looks wild, because the amount of shit that you talk, like, you be talking crazy to these niggas. You was talking so crazy to Rex that they had to cut the film and restart. So I know you was talking crazy. <laughs> the niggas wasn't probably even going to rap, Ace. They was trying, they lined you up. Rex and Moot lined you up, bro. <laughs> And that's what I say about Rex and Mook interviews. They definitely be worth the price of admission and worth watching. I ain't tripping. When there's some niggas that whenever they are on 15 minutes of fame, I am watching. Head Ice, T-Rex, Murder Mook. Them niggas should get like, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas should get like the, the Mount Rushmore 
a 15 minutes of fame and make a statue of all of them niggas and put them on there. Because when they on there, it's up. It's up. You think Rex would have rapped? He definitely would have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that shit's crazy, bro. Uh, it's just a, it's not a good look. I don't care what way you cut the cake. Oh, I'm not rapping because there's no money. There's no contracts involved. The streets don't care. You look crazy on that footage. And I'm just telling all I am is a vocal observation of what everybody's seen. So please don't get mad at me because I've been seeing that the artists are getting mad at the media and they're going back and forth with the battle rappers and media. Look, I'm not going back and forth with no battle rappers. I'm sorry, I will not do it. I say my opinion of what I saw and that's the end of it. I watch the footage, I'm thinking, yo, Ace gotta rap. I know he's gonna rap. I know, come on, come on. And I'm thinking of me telling Charlie Clips, you know what I'm saying, uh, you, these niggas ain't on Summer Madness or what the other shit was. Uh, I said, uh, 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 what it said, uh, the, the, the Summer Madness bars or something you gotta deal with. You the type to get a parking ticket and still snitch. That's real. I'm thinking of them bars like, nigga, rap to these niggas, man. I would freestyle. I'd freestyle that shit. But what they won't say is the nigga didn't rap on them motherfucking cameras. <laughs> you were supposed to shoot them niggas down, man. But, like I said in the beginning, there's two sides of the spectrum. I'm glad you rapped and I'm glad you didn't rap because if you would have, them niggas would have had 2,000 bars. You know what I'm saying? They would have had 2,000 bars. Um, and let me see the last thing I'm gonna say. Because I have one more, one more thought about it. Um, oh, here's a text that I got. Tell Ace this is a bad look. <laughs> it's like he lost a real battle. In an era where YouTube battles are so hard to come by, nigga missed the opportunity for a free release. Nigga might have been able to do three, four hundred thousand views off a Rex freestyle battle in three months. Other people feel the same way. I'm the only person that feels that way. I, that nigga would have did that to me. I would have rapped. I swear to God, I would have rapped. I might not have had the best rap in the world, but I would have had some shit. Where I'm from, we keep them hammers blown. Kids kill on camera phones. Fiends overpay for that white. They call it Daniel Jones. I would have went. I would have rapped. I promise you, I would have rapped. I keep bars for shit like this. Shout out to my nigga Ace I mean, Don't find that man. Don't come back till you find that man, B. You let them niggas take your shit. The niggas in Harlem, nigga, they gonna have you selling work in Queens, my nigga. You know, what the fuck is going on, man? You a man of what, nigga? You let that nigga Duff take your shit? You let them Harlem niggas take your shit? Yo, go find that man, B. And don't come back until you find that man. If it's at homecoming and you got a battle, go find that nigga there, man. You gotta take that shit out on somebody. I don't wanna see you up on no cameras like this no more, my nigga. I don't wanna see you. Uh, yo, Ace, get that shit together. <laughs> Shout out to Ace. Um, Briz, Briz, Briz. Shout out to Briz Rothstein and everything that he's got going on. I see he's raising his price to 100000 now, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I'm going to just say it like this. I guess he's shocked that media is talking about his uh, ordeal or situation. Uh, I know that people were saying that he turned down $50,000 for homecoming. He did straighten it up and say that it was actually not for homecoming. It was for the Drake card and that his price is his price. And if you got an issue with his price, you could do this and you could do that. It's up, this up. I ain't getting into all of that. But what I will say is you cannot be shocked that people are concerned about you and people want to see you. You was one of the best here when you was doing it. You had high beams, low lights. You had a book about the movie. I make the title wave. Like, you got to be title wave. What makes you entitled? Wait, Briz, like, you can't. Are you fucking oblivious? Like, you can't be so serious to not understand why people want to see you again. I don't understand. And then the thing is, like, I rock with Briz. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I love his career. I love what he did. I don't like the fact that he's been gone almost four years, but that's his own personal business, and I ain't knocking it. But there are people that's around him that are telling bloggers and media, yo, he's turning down this. Oh, my God, I can't believe he did that. But the niggas that's around you is telling media because Briz don't really talk to media like that. I don't live too far from him. I would I would do an interview with him, but I don't ask Briz for interviews because he don't really do interviews. Goes, you're a fucking popular, famous battle rapper that did millions and millions of views. So when you're shocked that people are talking about you turning down this and you turning down that, you can't be, bro. It can't be the villain and the victim at the same time. I keep telling these niggas. I got no issues with Briz. I love what Briz has done with his career, and I, and I would love to see him back. But if he doesn't battle again, I'm not, I'm not tripping about it. That's why I don't make a bunch of blogs about him. That's why I don't be dissing him. That's why I don't be trying to make no, no extra shit. Would I love to see him battle again? Of course I'd love to see him battle again. If I don't, it is what it is. But... You know, Briz, you can't be so emotionally invested to where you get mad that people are talking about it. Nigga, you're Briz fucking Rothstein. Nigga, you better be happy. D huh, huh. You should be happy people are still wanting to see you and talk about you. You know what I'm saying? I get it to where, you know, the media may make, you know, will have the story. Because media hears what they hear, so they're going to go with what they hear. You're not clearing it up. 
So they gonna do what they do, you know what I'm saying? And myself included, I've talked about him not battling and things like that, but overall, would I like to see Briz again? Yes. Are we gonna beg to see Briz again? Absolutely not. It's just not gonna happen. But uh, you know, shout out to all of y'all out there. But Ace, come on, dog. I mean, god damn, man. I got a dental appointment in about an hour, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to get up out of here. But shout out to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. You can't let Rex and Mook run down on you like that, though. I'm just, I ain't sorry. I'm out.